Nutrition is the most important aspect in beekeeping. A beehive well fed is a force of nature. You need something really hard to put them down. To assess problems in apiaries, there is two essential questions that need to be addressed before anything else. First, did your hives have everything they need to thrive? In other words, are you sure they have the proper nutrition, quantity and quality? Second, do you know your mite count? If you don't know about your nutrition and if you don't know about your mite situation, the problem in your apiary is you. I'm Humberto Bon Cristiani and this is Inside the Hive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. If you like bees and want to know more about them, please consider to subscribe and also hit the bell button so you don't miss a single video. As a beekeeper, you're supposed to do your best to verify if the bees have everything they need. If they don't, you need to move them to a better location or enter with supplementation. And that applies to any kind of beekeeping operation, honey production to pollination service. Starving bees don't produce anything. What I wanted to share here today is something that happened already twice uh, with two uh, experienced commercial beekeepers in our area and make me wonder if there is other cases like that out there. I visited some beekeepers a couple months ago and after assess their colonies, their hives, and the whole situation to address the losses they had, I was really suspicious about uh, the feeding protocol they were using. I never saw such uh, color and texture in the, in the formulation they were using that I decided to bring some samples to the lab and perform a mortality test. I saw what I did was very simple. I collect bees, a new emerged bee, so I could control the age of them, and I divide them in two groups. One group I give sucrose, 50% sucrose, the other group, I give the formulation provided by the beekeeper. I give the same protein source for both groups and I follow them over time to count uh, mortality, to see how long they live. The first thing I noticed was that uh, in both groups they consume the whole thing. In the group that have the formulation provided by the beekeeper, the bees were consuming a little faster. They were enjoying that formulation a little bit more for some reason that I don't know why. But here's the thing, check this out. In blue, we have the mortality curve of bees fed with sucrose 50%. And in red, we have the mortality of the bees fed by the beekeeper recipe. It's clear something was wrong with the formulation here. The bees that received the beekeeper formulation lived significantly less consuming whatever or whatever was in there. What happened, I have no idea. The ingredients were spoiled, the preparation was wrong, the storage was inadequate, the beekeeper messed up, there was an unfortunate mixture of components that create something toxic, I have no idea. I tried to get information from the beekeepers about what is in it. Uh, I was able to, to get some part of the recipe, but because I don't know the whole story, I don't know how the beekeeper uh, handle those products, I will not release this information here in this video just to protect the brands involved. The problem in situations like that, as I said in the, in the beginning of this video, the punch that you don't see is the one that's gonna knock you out. The beekeeper will never suspect about their nutrition because the bees are consuming the whole formulation. And please be careful with the premises that the bees know what they're doing. Uh, it's they're... not always the case. Yes, the bees knows a lot about what is good for them, but sometimes they make mistakes just like us. Double check your feeding. Maybe you have the same problem these beekeepers are having here. That's it for today. I hope this can be helpful. Please share with friends and family. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you think I deserve such honor. And I see you guys in the next video. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys next week. Bye bye.